So, 10K? So we talking about? We're talking about 10K. We're, I was gonna start with the, the number of videos uh, that this was. Like this is video 135. But I don't, at this point, I don't even know, like, even how many videos we've made. So, all right, so. so we could just take a look at it, see how many videos we got. This is 461, right there. Jeez, 460 videos? God. Okay, yeah, let's go. Wow. 460 videos. 461 YouTube videos for you guys. Yes, this is 461, and we are happy to say we have hit our 10,000. Uh, 10K, baby! Got that 10K, so that's pretty exciting. I was reading somewhere that, like, 80 something percent of YouTube channels don't hit the 10K mark. Um, and that's primarily due to one thing them quitting or inconsistent, you know, being inconsistent. So it's uh, it's a lot of work. I, I get it, man. You put all those work in those videos and you're watching it. You have your phone right here, you're watching it. It's just like, okay, 100 subscribers. Two months later, 105 subscribers. <laughs> There's some people you that know what mean? struggle with it. So man. that 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 just that's just looking at failure every day. <laughs> like yeah. damn discouragement. You know what I mean? That we were like that too for for, yeah. for months, years. You know what I mean? Like damn, they yeah. they moving. Yeah. So today we're gonna talk about where we're at. You know, 10k subscribers. Uh, how we got here. Um, what we had to go through to to get to 10k, what we did wrong, things we did right. Um, so let's get into it. What's pretty crazy is that we are literally at the at the three year mark, like to the date. I want to say my first recorded date of when the YouTube channel started was like October first. And what are we? October fourth, October fifth. Right what? That's right. Because I I started like two weeks. A week after you started the YouTube channel. Yeah, so it's like three it's like three years to the pretty much to the date and we hit ten thousand, I wanna say maybe like a couple days before um the uh the, the, the three, three year, year anniversary. Yeah. So that's a long time. And it was it, it's a lot of work. Um so if this this is just gonna be a little, you know, a short video of what we went through why we started the channel, what the channel is about, what it's become, kind of what we learned through this whole process. Um, and and also, you know, hopefully this will answer some questions on if you guys are trying to do a YouTube channel or if you guys are just like, hey man, maybe I need to scrap this YouTube channel or maybe I need to keep it going. Um, Cause it's, uh, it's very time consuming. Can you imagine if we didn't have everything in place and dialed in to try to do the channel on top of that. The channel would have been axed. That probably would have been the first thing the to go. The channel would have been <laughs> axed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you've put in all that time and you're not seeing anything in return. Yeah. Yeah. Even now, what you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You see anything in return, it's the the your capture rate is yeah. a whole lot smaller than what other things you could put your yeah. time and effort in. Yeah. And and the, the return monetary it's not it's almost not a, like if you're in it for money at the beginning you're probably going to tap out real quick. Real quick. Because, <laughs> because uh, not to say you can't make money quick, but it takes time for most people. You know, so there's some, you know, you could go viral with something and you might start making, you know, I've seen it happen here and there in all industries. But for the most part, if you're looking for the short game to like, if you're doing it to think you're going to bring in extra, um, extra money, whether that be clientele ad revenue, sponsorships. Um, you might get some some small stuff here and there, but it, it takes a long time to get some, to get real, you know, to get solidified in in, in your niche to where people are like, okay, you're, you're, you're worth something, you know? And I think, um, I think you, you, you really gotta have some integrity for people to want to follow you. Because if you're coming out with some boring stuff, the same old, same old, and not really being yourself, then it's... Well, it's all along the lines like everything else. Like, we're, 
we're gonna be we're gonna do something different. And usually it's never different. It's the same thing, you know. What I mean? oh, with yeah. the with either your with your detailing business, and we're gonna yeah. come in here. We're gonna do something different. It's Everybody it, says that. It, huh? it, 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 Looks the same. <laughs> Looks the same yeah. to me. There is a lot of YouTube video, YouTube channels and stuff that are the same. But again, it's, you know, this is where, where the creativity, the, the persistence, the discipline, the guys that are successful in, in, cause it's a whole nother yeah. discipline right. that we're trying to like jump into. Right. It's like, like, now we're like having to learn how to film. How to light? How to how technology? To, yeah, yeah. Te computer technology. Just even dealing Man. with some of the shit. It's like, why is this so difficult? This day and age, why is this so difficult to 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 have to do? And that's one of the reasons we don't. You know, we kind of scrapped the idea of these remote like uh, interviews because even yes. when they're done on their highest quality, it still looks like shit. It still looks janky. It still looks, you know, whether they got the fake background in the every, back or it's just, every, to me, it's like. Every time we do those, you know, we're making sure everything's ready. I it's always a have, problem. I, I get anxiety. I have anxiety all the way up there's, until we do it. There's so many points of failure. It, and it's just like, I shouldn't be feeling this way. I shouldn't be feeling this way. This should way, be very like, simple. Yeah, like I shouldn't be feeling like I'm like like I'm, it's so complex. Yeah, like I got I got the higher ups coming. <laughs> one, like oh, that's how I feel. Like man, for this YouTube, for these videos, this technology. Yeah, I know I'm doing something wrong, but <laughs> I'm sure the other guy, the other guys can relate. Yeah, well, there's we have other guys that we talk to on the, on a normal, you know, and and this is what makes the community, guys. This is why it's important for the community um, because. We have guys that, you know, have have done that type of work or are doing that type of work. You know, they may be software engineers yeah, it's nothing or, or, yeah, or IT guys to where you just say, hey, hey, my man, what's going on over here? You know, like Sal, Sal call up Eddie real quick when something's not right. Man. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? You know, some of those guys, you get to rap it to them having this problem. Oh, man, that's easy. Yeah. All you got to do is go on the settings yeah. right here. And I'm like, huh? Like, I thought you said easy, yeah. man. And then we have other guys. Like a tire shine yeah. easy. You know what I mean? And then there's other guys that call us up and they're like, hey, man, you know how to do this. You know how? I'm like, man, I don't. But. Sal might because that's one thing I have to and that's what's so good about having you know two people is I'm able to there's something Sal stronger at than I am you know so or he's going to be able to pick up a lot easier or has more patience for and vice versa like I'm not going to have Sal do certain things where I'm like nah my man's going to struggle with that and he doesn't want me over here trying to do stuff that I would struggle with because it just makes the whole, it makes everything that much worse, right? Yeah. Like to see you struggle at something that, like why would I do that? Like, hey man, let me take that over and you go over here and handle this. I know you could do that. Yeah. But, so that's kind of, kind of managing your yourself, you know, to, to, to who's going to be more fitting because that's, that's pretty much how the progression has gone with everything. Okay, this is going to be more fitting for Sal. Like every, Every new step or venture that we go into, it's kind of like, okay, Sal's going to have this portion. I'm going to have this portion. Or, or you know what I mean? Something may be more uh, focal for Sal. So, like, in, in making these videos, it's like, okay, the filming, the editing, those type of, like, the production, I can hold down. But any tech stuff on the outside of that, you know, we haven't even started digging into the analytics of this thing, like, deeply the way we normally do, which is weird because – that's something that you would think we would have done at the very beginning, but I think we were more concerned right now with. I think it's better because that's the more we put out, the more data we can pull from, and knowing what I know about now, what I'm pulling, like mm -hmm. it's yeah. Because the more things that we have tried on the channel, guys, we've seen success in some, and then we've seen absolute failure in others. You know, so like these types of videos here, just the the discussions. These ones have, have probably been very, very consistent, you know, over the past, you know, few months. We enjoy them. We feel like we're more ourselves. It's, you know, the videos are never scripted, but it feels more natural and easy to talk about. Um, and we don't have to really go off anything because we, we, 
it's all these topics that we're either passionate about or that, or that we're experiences. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, you know so it's what we're going through at the time. Yeah. And it's fun actually talking about other moments, like maybe that struggled. And that was kind of like this, this video we wanted to share with you guys. Some of the times where you guys, unless you have a YouTube channel and unless you've been in certain situations, it could absolutely suck. And, um, and, and ruin a lot of time that, that was put in. In a video, I set the camera up and everything for a wash clay seal. Set up the camera, went over there, did it. We banged it out and then we got home and I'm looking to upload the, vi you know, the video off the GoPro and all the, the audio, it's just, not the audio, but the whole video is just wiped. It was wiped clear. Like, I, I don't know if I deleted it on accident. Technology. Um, but it was just terrible. It's like, okay, I, that was, first of all, we did a good job that day because I remember moving. I was like, oh. That'll make you just want to get yeah. it. Just throw that thing. Like, man, baby, yeah. say, I'll shut this thing down. I said, we're not going to waste no time with it. I mean, yeah. That, that'll make you, it'll yeah. make you do some yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, it, it, it got me a few times where I messed up or, you know, I didn't have the mics hooked up or there was just bad things that happened and, or the editing was terrible or the, the the camera's off, like shit just happens. Something doesn't go right, like even if you did everything, like you upload yeah. it, There's the, so the many audio doesn't come on, you're like, yes. what the heck? Yes, yes. And when you have, in the higher quality you want your production to be, I think the 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 opportunity for, for things to happen is a bit greater. You know, so if you have like six light, six different types of lighting opposed to one, if you have, you know, we try to, Lately, we've been trying to keep things as controlled as possible, um, just for efficiency reasons. Just keep it, just keep them moving. We don't have to set up a set. We don't have to, you know, yeah. set up additional lights. We don't have to do this. We're not. So it's like, okay, we come in, boom, pump out the content. It's out, you know, within hours. So I like that a lot more because it's kind of like, well, we're sitting here having discussions anyway, and then secondly, um, we're recording, we're getting something out of it. And then third, the editing, um, it's pretty much not even there anymore. Like, I don't even have to edit anything because we're not, because nothing is in a, on a timeline. We're just having a discussion. Before, it would be like, hey, so over here, we got the uh, disaster detail. Let's go check it out. Then I'd have to cut to that and then, you know, B-roll, all that, all that stuff, you know, which we're not going to get away completely from that type of work because, People find that really interesting, and that's a lot of times where we get show them like the technical tips and tricks and stuff like on the spot. But again, those disrupt the workflow. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about a. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about it. I dozed off. I was thinking about a future uh, video yeah. concept. Yeah, and um, so yeah, so lately what we've been doing is just really you know just sitting here having discussions and. And people are liking the discussions and I'm enjoying them because I feel like the engagement is a lot. Like people are like, God damn, about time somebody said that. You know what I mean? Like, hey, or, or, or I see what's happening. They're saying like, oh, I never looked at it that way. Yeah. Which is when we start, when people start saying I never looked at it that way, it just brings up more, more, more ideas to have a more yes. in-depth discussion, which is always fantastic. Yeah. And this is, this is as true to the channel as I wanted this to be when I first started. Remember when you first uh, came on, I said, the, 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 the channel's not what I want it to be, but I got to start somewhere. Because I knew if I did it, I just fucking knew I had to start a channel because I started seeing kind of like, you know, there were some guys out there, but I was like, there's nobody talking about the stuff that we're doing or saying it at least the way that we're saying it. And none of these guys really have the background that we have to really, um, to really push the ideas, you know, and to really see it. And then as we actually started doing it, you know, in business from day one, then I was like, okay, this is valuable information that these people can really use. When I first started, I didn't know how to use any type of recording equipment. I wasn't doing any lighting. I wasn't, you know, I hired somebody to do it. You guys know Reyes. I was shout out to big to yeah. Reyes. Shout out to Reyes. I was Reyes' second or third client. Third, uh, he had Hunter, and then he had Cam. Remember Purple Rain Cam? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Businessman yeah, yeah, Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Shout out to Business Man Cam. And Hunter. Hunter. Um, and then <sighs> I jumped on. But Business Man Cam was a remote one. So Reyes was never there with them. It was just Cam. You know, so so people know Reyes and Hunter from the, you know, from the, the guys that, that did the mobile from the mobile detailing scene. And then I jumped in. Right, he, and Reyes had kind of started seeing on his personal channel because he would do ride alongs and stuff with yeah. people on their hustles, and the detailing ones were getting hit. So my man kind of stuck with that with Hunter, and then uh, turns out he, you know, he put something out. Hey, I'm looking, you know, I'm looking to 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 bring on clients. So I reached out. I said, ah, let me see what's going on here. And it's crazy because when you watch that first video, it. It even tells you, like, from the beginning, like, yo, this is about, this is a certain thing that we're trying to do. And that's the fun thing about the YouTube channel is shit's documented. So when people, like, like, like for, for, for instance, Revive. Revive, we have full, like, just evolution of Revive. Yeah. And it's, and we didn't do it on purpose. Like, Cause you know he probably doesn't have a lot of it like that to be like, yo, man, these guys have been following me like from the from the get go. I guess it'd be kind of like, in a sense, like a reporter that's been like, oh, I've been like this kid, this this high school football player is really good, and the next thing you know, he's like the league MVP. Yeah, and you're kind of like, yo, I, I knew you were special. Yeah. you yeah. know, those people just ha don't they just don't happen to be in a in a special spot. They're just special. Yeah, everything else happens. So yeah. and and that was something like with Revive, we, we latched quick to to Gian because I was like, I like the way he's doing his shit. Like he's doing his shit clean. Like anything that. For me, anything that elevates the industry to a certain level, I am down with. Man, I'm down with any. Go ahead. My man Omar, man, we, his his is documented from his, his, Oh his yeah, his Omar has a lot of yeah. Man, man Omar it's does have a lot. Yeah. Day, yeah. man. Shout out to, Shout premium, out to man. Omar at Premium. Yeah, it's his um, he, from it from when he first started with us. Oh a, yeah, because he he has he has a he, ride along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, yeah. A, 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 as the first console ride along. And then yeah. we did the, and then we did the, um, what's in your van? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. From there, and then to his, to his lo to his logo, his growth in his logo, and now yeah, just his brand name. Yeah, 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 man. So that's he's even assisted us on a few trainings. Yeah. You know, and see, we still, he's still part of the team. He, we still work with Omar, but um, but yeah, he's uh, he's out there doing his thing, man. He's getting busy. Like it's if that that's that right there is a true testament of. Of of finding mentorship and just putting all of your all of your ego to the side and forgetting everything that you know and being able to to start and recreate yourself, you know, from scratch. And um, he trusted us, and it just flourished. You know, his business. He was, you know, he, he wasn't in a bad place, but he was like, you know, like I'm, he was just getting started. Oh, he was like, whatever the hell he wants yeah. right now. And he started <laughs> and he was like, I, I don't want to go too far into this and be doing it wrong. I don't want to be wasting a whole bunch of my time. And that's how you kind of have to look at training. There's going to be something that you take away. So Omar may be doing things only 30% of what he learned from us, but that 30% had a drastic, mm -hmm. you know, effect on his business. Um, yeah, but that's another fun part of, of having a YouTube channel because you document, you see these, the growth, you see the growth in yourself. You see the, you know, you, you see your, you see the growth in your work. You know, there's sometimes where I'm like, man, why did I even put that on? Why did I even allow that to go on video? Hey, with a, and, you know? and the bad part about document, it, doc, it document all, all, all your fuck ups. Oh yeah. All the, all the. You, I changed my mind. It's not like that anymore. You know what I mean? Well, I thought you said over here. It's like, hey, man, well, there's there's growth too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You say something and then you learn, okay, that's not it anymore. Yeah. What's going on. So yeah. it's not for the week at that yeah. point. You know what I mean? You get humbled real quick. When you oh, it, go, oh, man. Yeah. And people will grill you. People will come, you know, the people will come at you and, and you know, when, when you, when you're out here saying, I want to bring, you know, I want to, I want to, we want to help get this industry to another level and you come with some some whack shit like they're gonna call you out so we've had our fair shares 
we've you know we've had our share our shares they're, of mistakes they're too. gonna call you out even if you're right yeah yeah some of these cats are just <laughs> they're ruthless there's just trolls and that's a whole nother part of it that people don't realize either like this shit really gets to people like i know guys where they get angry and they'll call me they're like yo man do you read these comments oh this oh i can't believe they did this to me or if sometimes they'll do it if they did it to our comments, like if we got something to the, the hey man, you, you see what they're doing over there to you guys? Well, I'm like what? Like, it's word. It's a comment. It's a, it, it's not. It ain't that real. Like uh, you know, well, when you, when there, you, there's 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 entertainment in this. When you do this, or like any social media now, you're putting yourself out there, so it's coming. It, it's coming. Oh, whether, safe. Yeah, whether whether you yeah. whether you do everything right or not, oh, it's coming. Yeah, there's someone out there so <laughs> coming for you. Man, I see some people get cooked online. Where they they, they the internet is undefeated. <laughs> yeah, internet do not do not lose, man. And and, the, and and this brings us to you know already canceled. That's something that we're still going to keep doing. And that's something and when we talk about cooking and, you know, it's like the whole intent in that. I think we came off uh, too strong to some people. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I think some people, I think some people got really offended and people thought that we were like, make, like blatantly making fun of people. We we're just trying to show the current situation of what's really going on. in Because if you don't have perspective of your own industry and you don't understand what's happening, how are you going to, uh, you know, how are you going to make it better? Like, how do you not know? How do you not know that you're doing the same things that some of these other people are doing? Because sometimes it takes, you got to look in that mirror. And that's a lot of times what the YouTube channel did for us. It's like, man, I really got to work on that. Like, I got to take care of this. You're, we're constantly critiquing ourselves. Even before we shot this video, it's like, okay, so we got to do this, we got to do that. Last time it was, so there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of progression, like, going on. Well, I remember when I first started, we started this YouTube thing, you uh, you put it in perspective for me. We were, we were doing something, and you were like, oh, I got to I gotta make sure this is, this. Is, I, I, got, I got this, something about our attire. Uh -huh. And I was like, uh, I'm just going to do this. Or you, so, I don't know. Long story short, you, uh, you said, "Why you ain't gonna look fly? You're on TV." You know what I mean? I'm just like, as soon as you said that, I said, "You, you, you right? Let me start. Let me, let me let me get these. Let me. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean yeah. you, you look at it like that, right? If I told you you're gonna be on TV, what? What are you gonna do? You're gonna go out. You're, you're gonna go out looking like a mess. No, you are gonna try to do the best you can to look good, right? So yeah. that I put it like, I gotta, we're all camera." You're, you're, yeah. you're on cable TV. Yeah. How about that? You're on news. You gotta look good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see you all beat up. Yeah. Huh? Uh, all tore up. Even if we're not shooting, like our standards are, we we like to be clean, presentable. We like to look fresh. We like to, you know, that that's just a part of us as people. Um, so, of course, that's gonna be incorporated to the business. But but yeah, the the progression of things. How it kind of forces you. We're learning new things. We're learning editing. We're learning, you know, sound. We're learning, um, you know, studio lighting and stuff. And there's a lot of a lot of trial and errors and a lot of frustration. I think for the most part, it's worth it in the end. Being able to see things documented, and being able to help that many people in a short amount of time, where you know, like there's been videos that we've had that have had great responses, and. Um, People are like, oh man, I was just, I love the ones where they're like, man, I have this problem. I have, uh, I'm, been, I'm actually going to be dealing with this tomorrow. I'm glad you guys posted this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, where they're just like, oh man, I had to deal with, I'm going to have to do this, this, I got to do my first motorcycle, the, the motorcycle one. Yeah. Oh, I got my first motorcycle next weekend, man. Now I feel so much better going into it. Oh man, you guys do all that? Okay, I'm 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 not doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I seen this video. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. You know, me, you got yeah. you get those too. Uh, there, it's like oh, save yeah. me from a headache. Yeah, when you know for sure you're making an impact on them, and that was that was the original idea of the channel. But you know, through the progression of the channel, we you know we we didn't stay with Reyes forever because we said, yo, we gotta if if we want to continue to do this financially we need to make sure that it's achievable and it's something that we can afford to do. And then also,
time-wise? Do we have time? To, can we afford the time to do this? Um, you know, so we do them now pretty much what on our days off or if we or if we end at a certain time, we try to just – it's not super consistent. It's just kind of like whatever we – There's more control. Yeah. Also, you know what I mean? Uh, having Reyes, uh, like we – He's gonna be here certain days, so we have to plan around certain things. Okay. Now we wanna we wanna shoot is yeah. we we what we do is predicated on how we shoot. Yeah, not the other way around. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, and growth in that too. Yeah, and then you just learn what's what works for you, what's not working, or you know, like pretty much on days where we had like I used to. I would record on the days where we had big stuff or like strange things or things that are out of the ordinary to document them. But I know now if I'm going to do that, I'm hiring somebody to do, to, to record because that's going to be, could you imagine, okay, for us when, when we went to Sonora with Mike, yeah. can you imagine me trying to record on that day? Oh, no. But I, I've done that in the past. Remember with the boat, yes. your first boat, big mistake. We recorded it. It was like what, 102 degrees, and the the sun just came down on us. Like it was ridiculous, and uh, it was Sal's first boat, and we were just out there getting getting fried, and I'm over here recording it, and I'm already a quarter into the the maybe even a third into the recording process before that sun really hits. So I'm not just gonna say, okay, well let's just scrap that footage. It's like we're going through it, but you're talking about doubling the time of the work that you're doing. You know, you, you have to really take that into consideration because it is – but there's times also that were terrible, and I'm really glad we documented. Yeah. Like the day uh, – one day that stands out is the video where – and I'll make a playlist of all these videos we're talking about. It was only two vehicles, huh? The Suburban and the Dodge Ram. They were parked together, um, and uh, it got super hot. The polisher broke. Oh, yeah, I ran out of water. Yeah, yeah, you came home. You were cramping up in the hand. The glass was killing us. I think that was the day where where Sal went started like his whole. I got to figure out this glass thing. <laughs> yes, yeah. it started from that day because that day was so hot and we had so we were probably working on that glass for about it felt like an hour. Hey, and that. And on that, that on windshield, it was a windshield. On that truck, it was a lifted truck. So you're just not <laughs> drop jumping in the passenger driver seat. No, you're doing. Yeah. You're touching three step three times. Yeah. Foot, clam up. Oh man, yeah. All, mm, yeah. It was it was a terrible, terrible. In those days, they not only motivate us because it's like we ain't working like this no more. Like we're not doing this. Like why are we doing this? Right. Like, we don't have to be doing this. Like, this is not, this ain't it. So when we, uh, when we see ourselves looking back, we kind of relive that. And whenever somebody, you know, maybe puts a comment on those videos, we go back to it, we're like, oh, man, you remember that day. Like, you, uh, we all, and no matter what industry you have, I'm sure everybody has, like, their top five worst days. Or things they can remember off the top of their head. We're like, man, that was a shitty day. I remember that. And that video was one of those days. And uh, the boat was one of those days. Like those days where you don't want to work for a few days after. Hey, man, that horse trailer was like that, too. That horse trailer wasn't fun. Yeah. And we had, what, three people on But here's, here's the thing, too. And this is another part I love. Is because you'll look back <clears throat> and you may think, oh, Sal was doing his thing. Because I remember when, first, when Sal first teamed up with me, they, they, people saw your progression. Mm -hmm. So that's another progression that people, you know, they're like, you got a lot of comments when people started seeing you they're like, oh, he's nice with it. Okay, I see you, Sal. You know, like yeah, people yeah. were like rooting for you at the beginning because yeah. when you first started, you were just doing the basic yeah. stuff, you know. So they were like, Good okay, Sal. Jams. Oh, all right, Sal, you're polishing. Okay, yeah. you're ceramic coating. Okay, you, you're doing this. Like, you because we have videos of you doing your first headlight restoration, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So those were uh, – those were cool moments, but a lot of those jobs also that took us a long time and that they, we've eliminated all those issues that we had. So those, those days don't repeat themselves. Well, 
also what I'm thinking about now just the evolution of the van too from, oh yeah when it first documented from how you carry towels to where we're at now oh, like yeah. that could be a whole another subject because that thing that van has changed multiple times the tools have been changed yeah and everything was on lock back then and yeah. can you just that going through that would be fun yeah. yeah and it's everything it's even our space here like it changed things change at least what four times a year this business never really stops changing and that's one thing that keeps it interesting whether it be the the youtube channel whether it be merchandise whether it be actual process whether it's uh people that were onboarding people we're partnering with uh trainings we're doing um you know the spaces we're working in like everything is constantly changing and that's what keeps it exciting it's not it's not a mundane job in any sense of the word it's you know where people are oh i gotta get up yeah there's some stuff that we do on the regular but for the most part it's it's just to me it's getting more and more fun like we, what do we got going on in the next 30 30 days what do we, oh, we got man. you know we got the sales floor takeover with steve and uh, pns hayward yeah. october 11th hayward then we're going out to uh, Atlanta with the Coach Kimmy training. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got that in October at the end, at the end of this month. And then we're heading out to SEMA. Yeah, then we got SEMA. So there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things that are, you know, and we just had a couple other events. It's exciting. It's creative. It's fun. But it's also a lot of learning. You know, we're going to learn a lot of stuff from now till the end of the year. We're going to meet a lot of people from now till the end of the year. There's... Um, you know, there's progression that that's constantly being being made, and it's it's fun. But it's, at the same time, you you're always stepping into the unknown. You know, you're like, oh shit, you know, especially if it's something that that the industry's not not doing to the norm. Yeah. Which a lot of the things we do is not to the norm because some of them are immeasurable. You know, at this point, they just don't have any way of being measured. So. We got some exciting things, you know, going on. We got some exciting ideas and we have some exciting stuff, you know, not only for the channel, but for, for us. I like, see, uh, this is, I, I like just being able to be like, we're, we're detailing, right? And now we're doing, we're doing different phases of the business, whatever, whatever that be, but how we can still relate it to detailing for a comparison. Oh yeah. Like saying like, Hey, this, this venture was a disaster detail yeah. or, or, Hey, this is car wash. We treat yeah. this like our car wash yeah. style, you know. Yeah. So it's easy to break down and go, really go. Okay, okay. He's asking. This is tire shine question. Yeah. Like, why are we talking about this? It's tire shine question. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's why I like it. It's fun. Like, it, yeah. We we don't waste a lot of time. We like okay. We revert, revert this back to this. Okay. Yes. There's a reference yeah. for everything within yes. the industry talk, so yes. we kind of understand, and we'll even tell each other. You know, if we're having a discussion with somebody or something. And we're talking about something, and Sal just immediately be like, you know what? He goes, they, 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 they're not gonna understand it, you know, like they they didn't. There was no comprehension there, and we don't know, you know. And maybe he doesn't can't articulate that to me. And I'm like, what do you mean? There's no comprehension in, in what you know, in what aspect, what what part? And he might just say, no. He goes, they're talking this and that, and we're talking this and that. So there's like clear reference like, yeah. oh, I see. Okay, I get it. And yeah, that's always been kind of the goal for number, like you you have to get understanding first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was like, that, that one, to us, that was the hardest thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Trying, to, trying to go on to you, YouTube or, or talking to guys and trying to really not get it through their head, but just for them to understand. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Because we, we related a lot. The same thing is when it comes to management. Yeah, we we, we were able to. But a lot that. of the but ninety percent of the population is not gonna yeah, 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 grasp yeah. that because they, they that, that's not. So then we ever okay this let's put this to detailing. Yeah, like this. Oh man, yeah. this. Yeah, so I think once we did that, people really became responsive, and they they were just like, okay, man, this is changing everything for me. Okay, I get it. You know, and it's uh, it's been fun. Being able to do that because it's uh, it's helped a lot of people, you know, and that feels good. We get we get we get thank yous pretty much every day from guys that you know that that we've done uh, 
maybe we've told we were transparent about things that we've made mistakes that we've made or things that we've done or things that we wouldn't do or things that we did that changed things drastically and they're starting to incorporate it and now it's becoming like, yeah we, we we put a lot of those things into school and i'm training yeah like uh for instance they're doing something and i'm like yo why are you trying to dry the car before you wash it and they're like huh like this and they're like oh so like so that that you because everyone, every, I, I think every now and then someone needs to say, man, you're doing some stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like when you reference it to detail, then when you reference the detail, it doesn't yeah. feel so bad. Like, you're like, oh, you're right. Yeah. You, you, know, you know what I mean? So that's, that feels good when you're able to yeah. hit the lights on. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And, and I think it's another thing that, I, that I'm proud of within the, you know, the videos that we've made is they've all been truthful. Like they've all been really truthful. The truth can kind of be shaped, you know what I mean? Like it's like it's it's not always straightforward from everybody. They may say just like beat around the bush around yeah, it. Yeah. They're not lying, yeah. but they're not being yeah. one hundred percent truthful. It's like we could be one hundred percent truthful. Like it's okay, you know. Like I remember somebody made a comment to me. Um, you know, and it wasn't it wasn't out of spite, and it wasn't a negative comment. They were just saying it like jokingly, um, and we were doing a review, um, and it was you know it was about something by Coach Kemi, and uh, we did the coach you know I, I did a Coach Kemi like a, a, a comparison and whatever, and the comment comes up, you know they were like. Oh, it doesn't look like you're gonna get any sponsorship or any anything from. Uh, Coach Kemi, you ain't gonna get any love from Coach Kemi, you know, like not saying they're you know that's what they're about, yeah. but just like yo, you ain't gonna get no endorsement from Coach Kemi anytime soon, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, well, that's first of all, it's not why I'm doing this. Yeah. And secondly, we got a really good relationship right now with Coach Kemi. Yeah. <laughs> people will say things now, people are starting to open up and say things now about products and stuff because I think they're just fucking fed up. So they're gonna say, hey man, like like the new cool thing is like let me just let me just tell you the way it is like kind of going against the grain. Awesome. Before it was like oh try this you gotta try this trying trying to get that affiliate money. Now it's like the tables have turned like almost like these 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 detailers are getting attitude the how to guys <laughs> like oh man I'm done with this so they're kind of like flipping the script and saying oh does it really you know and, and kind of like trying to have this like. Uh, more of like a brutally honest uh, opinion of it, which, you know, there's a few of them who are just like that. There's just people, but nobody's doing it to the individual, like to the business. And I right. feel like right. just that, that brutal honesty is very impactful. So when some of you guys say, oh, I don't agree with this, I don't agree, it's totally fine. Like, we, we, we're we always going to have disagreements. It is okay. You know? that, to that's totally fine. Opinion. It's perfectly all right. Yeah. But every way that we've spoken about is always going to be a way that we've experienced. So we know what the outcome is capable of being. Obviously, there's other outside circumstances that, that, can, that can mess things up. But for the most part, we try to put out what's there we we only try to be affiliated with with the with the companies and the things that we feel you know we want to endorse we want to push we want to we want to kind of bring some light to whether that's the people behind it because not everybody's making let's face it not everybody's trying to make top tier products and stuff yeah you know what i mean like that's not everybody's goal just like everybody's goal is not to do concourse level work some people are like yo i am I'm, I'm making this money doing these car wash uh, car wash services at, at dealerships. You know, that that's apples and oranges. So sometimes we just want to be behind the people that are doing it because they do it either really well with integrity, um, you know, with, with passion, or they're just good at what they're damn good at what they're doing. You know, there might be somebody who's just a damn good salesman. And I'm like, man, you're doing your thing. Like... Who cares what he's selling? Like I, we're giving, we're <laughs> yeah. giving it up yeah. for the other part of yeah. it because yeah. we want we want people to also know like it doesn't always have to be just one part of the business. Like it could be a completely other part of your business that's excelling. That it's like yo, that's where your money is. Yeah. Like that's where you need to be focused here. Like quit messing around. You over here. Like you need to be over here. So 
like when we see somebody that's like a salesman, it's like, yo, man, this guy, like, I don't like what he's selling. Like, this is some trash, but he's, but he's selling he's, nice. He's, yeah. Woo. I was like, he's doing his thing. But yeah, different different parts of your business could be flourishing more than others. And, uh, you know, you got to be able to identify that. And that's kind of what this channel is also built on, too, is just kind of like finding your strengths and weaknesses. Throughout this whole journey, we found our strengths and weaknesses. Like, we know what we can do. We know our capabilities. We know what we're not going to try to do. And it's documented. It's on record. It's it's fun. But is it hard doing all the YouTube stuff? Yeah. Did it take a long time to get 10,000? Yeah. There's people that got 10. There's people in the industry that got 10,000 in, like, the first week. Well, I think it's, got, it's hard. It's easier now. So now it's just like YouTube is on depending on what we're doing, but YouTube is on the calendar. Like we would schedule a food detail, schedule a car wash. It's on, it's on the calendar. Yeah. And then if it's not, we treat it like a car wash sometimes. Like we got time. All yeah. right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the, yeah. the, the control, I guess, is we're learning more and more of the control of the YouTube. Yeah. And then another thing people ask us too is, is the money. You know, people always want to know, oh, is it worth the money? Is it this and that? It's like if, if that's your main objective... If your main objective is to make money on a YouTube channel, um, I would recommend doing something that you're passionate about. You know, like ours is more, you know, we're in the industry of detailing, but it's more geared more towards the business side of it. And that's something we both really love. We have both been, you know, in management and leadership, you know, and operations for a very long time. So those are things that we can constantly be referencing, constantly be talking about. Like those have been instilled, weaved into our DNA where we know we can re reference anything to the operation yeah, and how to fix it or how to remedy it or patch it or, or whatever, or eliminate it. So I think if you try to start a, a, a channel about detailing, if it's not just about experience, it's going to be hard if you don't really love doing it, you know, because you're going to run out of things to say. You know, you know, yeah. like, I just hate this job. Um, another pro uh, not a problem, but another thing people ask about the YouTube channel is uh, they uh, they say uh, I want to get more clients. Oh yeah, that's that's I, what I was going with. Them. You know, like I, I want to get more clients. Like, well, don't do YouTube. If yeah, that's, uh, if that's yeah. Like people really do. think that that they think that that's the exposure is going to get them a lot of work. I know guys that have YouTube channels that are some of the best detailers in the country. And they have the, 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 the smallest. I'm like, yo, this is literally like one of the best detailers in the world. Concourse level detail, like the, 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 the real deal right. shit. You know what I mean? Like dudes from, from, uh, from the collections and stuff that we've worked on. Like the dudes that do all the sanding work and stuff. And, you know, on, on, those, on, that, on, on Pebble Beach type of stuff. So... I'll go to their YouTube channels and they got like six views, <laughs> you know, and it could be a generational thing because some of those guys are a little bit older, but it also could be their personality. There's a lot of things that, that, that make your channel successful for us. It's, it's been a slower progression because I think in our industry specifically, um, I think people had to pick up on what we were saying. I think people had to really sit down and, and the real ones did. The ones that experienced it, but I think as as your growth as a detailer, there's things that you haven't encountered yet, and when you do encounter them, I'm glad that we're here for them yeah. because it's a book on this is a new encyclopedia. YouTube, you know, what I mean, you go you go how to do all these physical yes. things, and then okay, I know how to do all those things. What but, happens when I once I after I figure all those? Yeah, things, what, like what, my business what, came to a halt. Yeah. What do I do now? I, I don't know how to. Uh, I, I got three vans and six employees in a shop, yeah. but how do I how do I manage them now? Mm -hmm. like how do I how do I manage my time? How do I you know? So I'm glad we're there to kind of assist in in that way um, because that that'll bring your business that that'll that'll stop that'll shut down business if you if you outgrow your your education in that industry. That's when you could crumble. You know, things can get things can get really rough and nasty for you. But yeah, 10K, it's been three years. There was also a time where we stopped. I want to say it was probably, a, what, a, like a three-month period? It was during the wintertime. 
Because we had to learn how to, uh, we had to learn how to do everything. That switch over time where we had somebody doing the videos mm -hmm. for us. And we literally had to learn how to do everything. How to upload, how to make a thumbnail. How, so that's why some of our other stuff was just, some of it was just not, it was always good information, but visually, maybe through the audio, through the lighting, through, through something, it was tough to watch. It was even tough for myself to watch. So thank you for all of you who sat through those videos and, and watched those because some of those were rough. Some of those were really tough. You just look at the thumbnail and I don't want to watch it. So for a viewer, for people to support us through that, it's like the content had to be of some sort of value. Um, so that's what keeps us doing this. And we want to kind of, we're, we're glad we've documented it because we've already seen some, some substantial growth in businesses, in companies, especially, you know what? I remember there was a, a time where we went to visit PNS and, um, and Bob said, are we going to keep the masks on? Because we were doing the interview mm -hmm. and we kept them on. And I'm glad we did because, like, that's a time that I'm always going to remember. Like, because it was COVID, people were scared, it was weird, you, you know, it was kind of like, because people ask, like, why are we wearing, oh, it must have been during COVID, Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, right. So right. there's things that are documented that we've, you know, that we've been Just through. Just the struggles in that, right? Like, he talks about, like, we don't, we didn't have the caps for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? COVID. We, 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 they were this color because, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's all historic, historic content. Yeah. And you, so it, it's cool for me because I can go back and, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, that was at that time, but that was at this time. And, you know, uh, if it PNS is grand opening when they first moved yeah. there. Yeah. You know, so that, that was. You know, kind of a big a big moment for PNS headquarters to have a you know a, a factory storefront and and to be there part of that documenting that that was really you know that was really fun um, you know our first school of them training you know we document had that documented there's been things that we've done uh, you know in the business that we're proud of and relationships that we built and it's it's nice to be able to have that all the fundraisers that we've done in the past like the boxing event. You know, yeah, had that documented, but those those things are really cool to have. Um, you know, if it's some people's even grand openings. You know, we've had a couple grand openings now on the channel that that's fun for for detailers around, and then we'll start doing our in store events as well, our appearances and our sales floor takeovers, our consulting. Anytime we're key, keynote speaking, we're going to be documenting all of those as well. So it's uh, kind of show the industry what's you know what's out there what's available what they can do um you know to, to better their business but we're trying to reach more people you know when we're trying to trying to hit them in real life now you know we, we we've seen them you know we've met a lot of people through the channel through social media and now it's time to go meet some people yeah. now it's time now it's time to to make that direct impact and uh i'm excited for you know i'm excited for for the things coming up, it's more growth. Yeah, so 2000, 2025 is gonna be gonna be a big one. Uh, yeah, we'll be back with uh, we'll be back with the best of. We'll be back with another top five. We'll also be back with the already canceled. With pops, pops is coming back. So thank you again for 10k. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you to all of our clients, all of our subscribers, all of our students, all of our supporters, everybody we've partnered with in the past, all of our affiliates, and all of our friends. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much love.